slurs. So the Orwellian view of the vision of the future wasn't too far off based on this scenario. George Orwell was just like me. He was a low-level member of British intelligence. He was appointed to a position high enough where he saw the same documents that I saw. And he tried to warn the world just like I am trying to warn the world. But he wasn't willing to take the risk that I'm willing to take. So he wrote it in a book called 1984 and spelled out exactly what's coming as a warning to the people of the world, as a work of fiction. But you notice that that work of fiction really stirred people up because they knew that it wasn't fiction. In their heart of hearts, everyone who's read that book knows that it's coming. It's a possibility. Most people won't recognize it overtly or publicly because then if they recognize it, they have to be responsible to do something about it. And that's what every one of you have been resisting all your life, is being responsible to do something about it, to get involved. That's why you walk away from a girl being raped on the street by a gang of thugs rather than go and try to help her. And I'm not talking to all of you. I know there's some of you out there just like me, but most of you are just exactly what I've just described. Most people are no better than animals who do not have intelligence because they don't use their intelligence. And to these men who control things behind the scenes, you are stakes on the table by choice and consent and will always be ruled and manipulated and enslaved by people who do use their brains. Okay.